Hi, this is Ricky from Data Mastery. In today's video, we are going to talk about Bedrock Data Automation. In one of the previous videos, we have talked about Bedrock Data Automation when it was made GA by Amazon recently. So this is a fairly new feature which AWS has introduced into Bedrock. So in today's video, what we're going to talk about is we're going to take a look at Bedrock Data Automation, how the interface looks, and some of the built-in demos that they have provided to understand this feature in a better way. So you need to log into Amazon Bedrock, and within Amazon Bedrock, you see this data automation link. You click on that, and you will see what data automation is and what it can do for you, what are the different use cases where you can use BDA. So BDA enables you to automate the generation of valuable insights from multimodal data. So we have seen in the previous videos that if we have um, multimodality in your documents, like your documents contain text, or you also have, for example, documents which are PDF documents, or you have images, or you have videos, you have multimodality in your data, then you can use Bedrock Data Automation to find insights out of various types of uh, data that you have. So this is essentially what the definition of BDA is. So it allows you to generate valuable insights from the unstructured multimodal content or data. So you could have documents, you could have images, videos, and audios to build the Gen AI workflows. And right now, the different use cases where you can leverage BDA is the RAG indexing. RAG is always one of the kind of the front runner use case for everything what we are doing with Gen AI. So with RAG, you can have different type of data in your let's say private data repository, right? So you can have documents, you can have uh, you know, images or documents which have text and images combined. So there will be like different modality of your, um, of your data. And then you have intelligent document processing, which is the second use case, where you have a single page document or a multi-page document, and then you have uh, you know, the, the, the hyperlinks or the links which are embedded in your documents, you want to process that as well. So that can be extracted and normalized as part of your uh, BDA or Bedrock Data Automation. And then you also have the media analysis. So you can extract and generate meaningful information to enable fine-grained search of a video, audio, or image archive. So if you have entirely like you have some media library and you want to leverage AI to get some uh, you know, insights out of your uh, media library, you can definitely use BDA for media analysis. Now within BDA, we have, uh, like we have talked about use cases, but then the other, um, you can say the configuration that it provides is, is the standard output and then we have the custom output. So the standard output is what BDA will automatically detect out of your data, and it provides the output in the standard way. And the custom output is like you can customize the output. If you see that the automatic detection is not kind of accurate, then you can define your own custom output as well. So how you can do that? You can create blueprints, and blueprints is what you can use to define what should be the output out of the data that you are you know, uh, feeding in for this automation. Uh, you can create a project. The project is something which allows you to keep everything at one place. So I have a one project, which is a data mastery demo. And here you have like tons of other information that you can use. So how BDA works, as explained earlier, it has a standard output, which is a predefined extraction. This is totally managed by Bedrock. This is automatic, uh, you know, detection of uh, the various components in your data. And then the custom output is where uh, it allows you the flexibility to define the extraction, which is not kind of offered by Bedrock automatically. 
and not that is not present in the standard output. So you can create a blueprint and you can, um, you know, you can also leverage some existing blueprints as well. And here is the granularity, like when we're talking about a standard output or even like for custom output, we will, you know, talk about that in a minute. But you can take a look at, the, uh, you know, different uh, options here. So you can have uh, for the documents, which is kind of more of a text, you can have a granularity at the page level. You can have a granularity at the element level, or you can even have a granularity at the word level. So when I say page level, which is the entire, let's say your PDF document, element level means the different sections of your document, and the word level is basically every word. And then you have a text format. You can have a plain text. You can have text with markdown, HTML, CSV. Uh, you can also enable the bounding boxes based on the granularity control that you have set up. And we have a generative fields. It basically generates the document description and document summary. And similarly for image modality for your image data, you have image text recognition, which you can use to detect the text in your image. You can have the content moder moderation, like if there is a content which is not suitable for all kinds of audience, then you can do that content moderation as well, uh, meaning you can detect the explicit and toxic content. You can detect the logos, the recognizable logos. And you know you can do the image summarization as well. And same for the video modality, there are like multiple options for video modality, like text in the video or full audio transcript. And then you can do the video summarization as well, so and so forth. Now to better understand how this works is, uh, you can start with a demo, which is provided by AWS. Now you can provide your own documents as well, but you can leverage the existing documents which are there for you to just play with. Here we have uh, different types of modality, like you have document modality, you have image, video, audio. So first, let's take a look at uh, driver's license, and uh, I'm just gonna click on generate result. And here is the result of the document that we have used, which is a driving license in this case. Now look at the result here, what it has extracted. So before that, uh, the granularity level is a page level and the element level. So we will see the granularity here. So you can see New Jersey is, is at the top heading of this document and then it is Motor Vehicle Commission, the text which is right uh, besides the New Jersey. And then you have auto driver license and then it has all the details like the driving license, the class, the date of birth and everything that is, uh, that is uh, in the document. It has been captured or you know, provided in the result. And that was the, uh, you can say, the granularity at the page level. Now the other granularity that we selected was at the element level. Now if you click on this element level result, here you can see the the data has been shown based on the the segments in the document so the first segment is new jersey which is at the top here and then uh, the motor vehicle commission which is the another logo you can see the type here type is the logo and new jersey is the text with markdown and then another text with markdown is the auto driver license and then you have a table here with all the personal details the text three is another uh, text with markdown, which is signature. So you can see how the data has been extracted from this image with text. So essentially this is a document, but you can also say that this is an image and uh, image with the text. And uh, you know, Badrock was able to detect that various types of information out of this document. And you can define the custom outputs. Right now, what we are using in this demo is a default blueprint, which is used for a driving license. And you can create your own blueprint as well, uh, based on type of data that you have. So let's say you have different types of reports and uh, those 
the reporting schema is very kind of complex. So you can create your own blueprint and define what sort of details that you want in the output. If you're in the medical industry, you are working on some clinical trial studies and those documents can be very complex. Uh, they, they can have the, the information nested inside the other headers. So multi-level nesting is something that you can find there. So you can define the structure of the output. So which is what we can leverage using custom output. And as you can see here, uh, you have field name called address details, and then you have a nested details here or nested columns like city, state, street address, zip code. So this way you can define multi-level nested, uh, you know, uh, fields which you want to see in the output uh, based on the data that you have. So that was about how you can use, uh, let's say, a document which is uh, more of an image. And let's select another modality. It's an actual image, but with some text on this. So let's pick up this, the one with the mountains, and click on generate result. Now what we have selected as far as the granularity is concerned is the image text recognition. And you can see here in the result, it has the image summarization. So these are the two things. The extraction part is the image text recognition. So we have some text here, and we expect uh, this automation or bedrock to detect the text properly. Plus, we are also generating some data. What we are generating here, we are generating image summarization. So what this image is all about, we want this to be a generator. And if, if there are any logos, you want to detect the logos, you can just click uh, on this as well. You can enable logos as well. So right now what this is, it is an image summarization. So it summarized the image and then it also recognized the image text, which is travel to Kauai. So if you disable this, then there will be no uh, text that will be recognized out of the image. So you can disable this and you can regenerate results. You can click on regenerate. DBA project name is demo, for example. So it will create a new project and then the results will be stored under that project. And as you can see right now, it has only summarized the image. It did not detect the text out of the image. So that's what we actually deselected. The next demo that we can have is on the video. So if I click on video and you can just select this one, Meridian, and click on generate result. So now for the modality is video and for the configuration, we selected text in the video and we also selected video summarization and video chapter summarization. And the bounding boxes as well. So here you can see the video summarization of this entire video and then chapter by chapter. So this is pretty interesting if you are like uh, working in the media industry and you want to summarize this, you know, some various reasons. So you, it can automatically summarize you. Uh, it can automatically summarize the video for you. So you can see this in all the chapters are summarized and then it also detected some text in the video. So a lot of text actually. So if I go ahead and play it, I probably see some more meaningful information. So you see this text, Los Angeles, 1947, and there's this little banner here as well. So go all the way down to the bottom and you will see Los Angeles here somewhere. Here you go. So Los Angeles 1947, this is what we see at the beginning of the video. And that's what you see here, books and drugs. So this is probably coming from the banner. So here you can see, so you can simply click on this and it will tell you where it's, it's picking the data from or the, the text from and also the accuracy. So this is 93% accurate. So this is pretty cool. And you can see 
like all the data which is picking from for example this this hollywood hotel right here so you can select this you can see this hollywood hotel or just the hollywood so it's pretty cool it is pretty accurate in detecting various uh, kind of text in the images or the text in the videos or summarizing the videos and summarizing the 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 text as well as the audio as well so that's all i wanted to show you in this video since this feature is recently launched i expect a lot of uh, you know improvements in this feature in the coming days but uh, since this is uh, uh, ga right now so you can use that in your projects but i just wanted to touch base on this and just give you an idea what are the different configuration items that you can use and how this works and what are the different use cases that you can leverage bedrock data automation in so there are like plenty of use cases here irrespective of what industry that you are working with uh, i i'm pretty sure that you can use this in one of your projects so if you are planning to work on this if you're interested you want to know more about this feature or amazon bedrock as a service as a whole uh, let us know uh, do put your questions in the comment and we'll be happy to answer but for now just uh, log into amazon bedrock and uh, you know play with the demos that aws has provided it's pretty neat and also try to upload upload your own video or your own content and see if uh, uh, bda detects the information correctly so as always if you have any question do let us know and thanks for watching this video stay tuned for similar more informational videos thanks for watching